A potential eyesore on Purdue's campus brings hot debate. The issue in front of the Board of Trustees, a $17 million thermal energy storage tank. News 18's Brittany Tyner reports both the need and location are up for discussion. And people aren't going to like even know what it is. They're going to yeah, be like, oh, what's that? Yeah. What is it? It's a 5 million gallon tank with a price tag of nearly $17 million. The tank was the focus of a Purdue Board of Trustees committee meeting Thursday. The proposed tank will store chilled water at night when energy costs are low. During the day, the water will be used to cool buildings on campus. Vice President of Physical Facilities Robert McMains says it's all part of the Comprehensive Energy Master Plan, which states the campus doesn't have the needed capacity to produce chilled water. But we can shove this tank up against the hill to try and hide it a little bit, at least on the north side. But will hiding it against the bottom of Slater Hill be enough? Some board members don't think so. The discussion during the Physical Facilities Committee meeting brought up the idea that the 40-foot tall tank will be an eyesore for the community, and some students agree. I think it's like good to do, but maybe not right here, maybe like in the acres back there somewhere. Like Not that's right on campus so everyone would see it. But some students say it may be the perfect place to put the tank. Over there, there's already a lot of like towers and um, like electrical like buildings and stuff. So I really don't think it would distract that much from the like overall beauty of the campus. McMain says those other buildings and the utility corridor are why the location is best for the tank. The northeast side of campus would have been better, but that would have been on the east side of Northwestern Avenue. Then you're talking about getting into the neighborhoods or retail space like a McDonald's, and uh, that would be a lot more of an expensive endeavor. One idea of burying the tank underground would make the endeavor even more expensive, adding millions to the cost. In the end, board members couldn't agree whether the project is needed, and if it is, if Slater Hill is the right location. So they tabled the proposal for now. Reporting in West Lafayette, Brittany Tyner, News 18. After the Facilities Committee meeting, the trustees went straight into an executive session and were not available for any on-camera interviews with News 18. The board also discussed building a new $13 million softball stadium on the Northwestern Athletic site on McCormick Road. The board will vote on that project along with new health care rates tomorrow morning. Purdue employees will not only have health care options, but an on-site campus to go to as well.